Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So here I have box three from the Paper Craft Society. So this is the third kit that they've done and this one is by Broat Rosa. So when I heard that Paola was doing one of the kits, I was really excited because I love all the Bright Rosa dies that she does and I featured them, you know, a lot in my tutorials. So I have it, it's beautiful. For those of you, anybody new watching, the boxes when you receive them, whatever the pattern is on the box gives you an idea of the theme and the, the colours that are going to be throughout the kit. It. I will link up here the last two and you can see the unboxings there just again in case you're new and you've not seen it so you can see what it's all about. So this is a monthly um, subscription kit but you don't have to, you can dip in and out of it. So you pay per month. If you don't cancel it we'll just carry on but you can cancel at any point and you can subscribe. I think there's a quarterly, you can do half a year and you can do the full year as well and you, you save different amounts by obviously de you know depending on which plan you take out. Anyway, so this is how it comes. This is the box. Always really, really nice. And I love the um, the silver foiling on this one. And then inside, you always have a nice little kind of quote on the top here. So it says, celebrate love, fun and friendship with this kit from Paula. And then inside we have our envelope. So you will get one of these envelopes in every single kit. And the idea is, is that you, you collect them and you stack them as if you've got your books kind of on your shelf. And on the side here, it says Paper Society box three, and it says Bright Rosa. Beautiful, really, really lovely. So we'll do the envelope in a moment. Let's have a little look in here first. I always try and save the tissue paper. And sometimes, yeah, you get little like um, confettis, some like bits of glitter and things like that. It's quite nice actually. So we've got our three little cubes. So these are your hybrid inks. So we've got a nice, very like soft pink, we've got like an olive green and then like a teal green, which I love because I do love teal. And again, just so you can kind of see, this is what I've got so far from the previous kits. So eventually you will have a real nice collection of a variety of colours because look, you can start to see like where you'll start to get all your different green shades. And already now I've got a couple of nice pink tones there. And um, what else have we got? We've got the blues, the purples, the blacks. So really nice. The black's great. Like I said, it's a hybrid, so you can use your alcohol inks or your watercolour. So um, yeah, it's nice to start having them. I need to look for some nice little storage for ink cubes, actually, because at the minute they're just in my drawer, kind of, you know, they go, you know, move all around. So that's those three there. Then we have some blending buds. So they're like your little makeup. I use one of them for like my highlighter. Um, in my makeup bag. So these are tiny ones, they're very cute. So you get three of those. Then we've got some black and white twine. You've got quite, you've got loads there actually. There's, yeah, I don't know how many meters, but there's a lot on there. Then you get your card. So every month you do get a different card. So this one says, be a rainbow maker, add a whole spectrum of color to your life. And then this is to get organized. So this one is use this grid to create an ink pad swatch. Oh, okay. So you can actually put your ink pads on that one, swatch out your colours, so that's handy. I've started to put hole punches in mine and I keep them on a binder ring and just have them hanging because the other two had the your card sizes and then there was another one which had uh, box sizes, I think it was, which was in the Simply Made Crafts one. Then here we've got some adhesive crystals, nice silver ones, they go with everything, you know, so um, yeah, they get used. And then we've got the card stocks. So this is your coordinating cardstock so in a moment in the envelope you have your pattern paper but this is the cardstock so we've got this absolutely gorgeous lime that is such a nice color then we've got like a lighter kind of teal color there it's got more of an aqua actually i would maybe say that is then we've got that soft pink and then that lovely mirrored card so that's a real nice palette of colors there and my kind of colours, I love, again, if you follow me, you'll know me for my bright colours and just clashing things. That's what I kind of tend to do. That's what I enjoy. So you'll see there, they're going to work really well with your ink pads there. All right, so that's all the card. And then these are lovely. You can put them in like a shaker card in between some acetate. They would look nice. I'm just going to pop that all back in there because I, what I tend to do is I put my cardstock in my envelope as well and keep that all together. But I'm just going to pop it all back in here for the minute. Okay, then you've got your little booklet here and you always get, I think it's around 15 um projects inspiration and i actually feature in this one which was really nice so this one has a nice little welcome as always by the designer and then talks about 
you know their background as a designer and what they do again if you're familiar with my channel and with craft stash bright rosa is one of the designers and um bright rosa is her his her brand so it's yeah it's really really nice it talks all about that it's like an interview with paula this is what we've got to come which i'm going to show you and then you've got your inspiration so some absolutely gorgeous projects i'm going to have a good old look through this i do like to see who's done what and you always learn something new or maybe it reminds you of something you might have done you know before there's my one so i've done this one here we do have a brief so mine was to use this rose stamp and I just put that one together there and you can see where I've used the the mirrored foiled, you know, the, the silver card stock. And that was on a six by six card. I really like that one. I'm biased, but I did. I enjoyed making that one. <laughs> so, and then I just show you how to do it. Then you've got these here. So Nikki's done five quick makes and she's used the dies. I saw the dies and I was like, oh my gosh, these are amazing. Very bright rose. I think there is quite a style when you see these, you do... You do think of them being bright rosa, so yeah, she's certainly got a um, a look about her dyes. Jeanette, she always does a lovely card. She's done quite a few in this one, actually. So I look forward to looking at that in more detail. And then Nikki. Oh, no, sorry, that's not Nikki. It's Ruth. I like that one where it's all kind of layered up. That looks nice. And then there's some, obviously, techniques to that. And then it just gives you a little kind of conclusion there a little um what's the word I'm looking for anyway it's very nice <laughs> so let's have a look at this this is always my favorite bit I love I love the envelope so really nice nicely made so what have we got on this one it says create cards little memory albums and home decor using all the elements this one says there is nothing better than settling down to craft with a fully coordinating kit and then that one says it's all about the layers die cut stencil and stamp then finish off with a little sparkle okay so we'll start from this end here so we've got a stencil so we've got this beautiful flower and then we've got all these like polka dots very geometric you've got that look there again that's very much a staple within paula's design she loves geometrics and i i believe i hear her say it quite a lot she loves hexagon shapes as well so they're going to be nice to use. And then the flowers. So see what I mean about that kind of hint on the box to what's inside? This is that print that was on the top of the box. And then here, so you, I think it's three sheets that you get. So I've got one there, but there must be more. Oh, they're all separate. So we've got this one, we've got that one. I love that type kind of print in the background, the star. That was the one that I used in the card, which is nice because it looks like you've, you know, when you make it, it looks like you've done that as a separate mat and that as a separate mat and then you've layered your strip on top. Actually, it's just one piece, so it was nice to use. And then you get it again, yes, yeah, so it just repeats. So there's that one. Do really like that one. That's lovely. That one, the star. And, oh no, it's three of the colour paper, sorry, two of your pattern. Yeah, so there we go. Feels like I've got another one there. No, I don't. And they're, they're nice and thick. They are a lovely, you know, paper there. So that's your patterns. Really nice. Then onto the stamp set. So I did already see this because I was playing with this a couple of months ago, but I didn't see everything. So, but I've seen the stamp set and it is lovely. Really nice. If you've got some nice little small sentiments here, I thank my lucky stars for, and then you can use your dies and these pieces here to finish it off. And you've got the U, the love and the R there. That's the rose stamp there that I used and coloured, and I coloured it using the inks. So again, if you're someone starting off, the kits are really nice because those inks are really versatile. You can, you know, use them in so many different ways. It's not just for stamping, you can use them to colour. Love the heart there with that font. And then these are all your separate leaves. So you can create some really kind of funky looking flowers. You know, if you were to stamp every leaf differently or something, I think they'd look quite cool. So I'm looking forward to using that. And then here you have your pre-die cuts. So you've got your birthday wishes, sending love and thank you there. And then you've got these ones, you've got some tags. And then you've got those nice ones there as well. So they're all, yeah, really, really nice. But I haven't seen the dies properly, I only saw a picture. But look at these. And it's six by six. I always get so excited. Um, let's have a little look in this one. Take it out of that plastic because it always usually gets a glare on the, when I'm filming. But this one here looks like it's six by six or will certainly sit. It might just come in under just so it sits on a six by six. Yeah, so it's five and five eighths. So that's going to be a perfect mat on a six by six card. But that's how you can do that kind of layering, that staggered layering. That was on one of the inspiration cards. If I turn it that way, you can see the U. That's a nice one. Can you just about see it? There we go. Maybe if I put... There we go, it's better. So you can see the U, you've got some sprigs, you've got like a little tag. I like these ones where they look like a metal kind of plaque. 
and then you can see the detail with this and I imagine I'm just guessing but I would have thought that if you were to die cut this one oh and I'm glad they haven't joined them up I don't know if um, any of you got the kit last month and it's it is easy to do but I'm not a fan of when dies are all joined together and you've got to cut them with some pliers these aren't it's so much better so thank you craft stash if you're watching <laughs> and um, I imagine yeah so you can stamp this and this will frame your stamps and even the small ones yeah can you see that tiny little bud or leaf there that will frame perfectly with that one there I'm just trying to make sure you can see it on camera but yeah so they're going to look so you can do a really cool looking um, effect with that but you can also then die cut the detail in it so you don't have to you know have it that way and and these are just so handy I mean you know if you're making a square gift box there's your mats and layers for the top of the lid which I done with that um made I just made that really nice square I think it was nearly like a six by six one um, a few weeks back but something like that I know you can just cut them on your machine but if you wanted a decorative edge you know they're, they're going to work great for that so yeah that's really lovely let's pop all this back okay so I'm just going to pop it back in here but you also um, you know you don't have to if you want to keep them in the boxes then you can keep everything together because you've got the inks there as well but I am going to look out for a little kind of cube storage because I, I just love these and um, they're so really vibrant and I just want to see them nicely displayed in some kind of like little carry. So if anybody does know of one, if I give this measurement quickly here, because you might already have some of like the Tim Holtz cubes um, and most companies do them, don't they? They do the mini cubes, but these are one and three eighths of an inch by three quarters of an inch. If you've already got some cube storage, I would love to know. And if you could share any links in the comments, that would be really helpful. So yeah, that was a little kind of um, review of the box. And um, I'm a big fan of kits. I love kits. I've had many, many kits over the years. So I do love that everything comes together and it's all kind of matching for you. But um, yeah, look out for the tutorials. I try to share two to three tutorials a month using the kit project, um, you know, products within the kit. I've got one more to share from the Simply Made Crafts, um, which should be coming in the next week that's all ready so um, yeah thank you for watching all the links to everything will be shared below I believe you may still be able to get some of this it may have already sold out generally they sell out but they do sometimes keep some back I know the Simply Made Crafts is gone that's it now you won't get that again and the Christina Griffiths one went straight away that didn't even go to sell after so if I can share the links for this one I'll share it below if not I'll share the link if you would like to subscribe for future boxes and all the information's there and I believe that. The next one is Olga. I'm sure that one's because we've already got that now being shared. So I'll share links to that one because you can see another unboxing of what you could get. So anyway, I've been rambling on enough. Thank you for watching. I hope you've liked it. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see what I make with it and all my future tutorials. See you soon. Bye.